today uh, we are going to talk about how to calculate maintenance calories um, so I have done a video on uh, where our bodies burn energy so uh, I told you in that video that uh, there are three uh, we can divide the energy that our body wants in three categories the first one is the BMR the second one is the physical activity that we do while moving or exercising or whatever even in lifting the arm uh, so uh, it uh, accounts for the physical activity wherever we move our body and the third one was uh, the third uh, part was digestion uh, so um, I will link the video on how to calculate BMR because it is a separate topic and uh, the video on uh, where our body burns energy in these three uh, segments I'll link these two videos in the uh, end so by at the end of this video I'll link those two videos and this one this video is going to be quite long so if you're serious for bodybuilding uh, weight loss or, I mean if you're serious for your body then watch it uh, full I think it is going to be uh, covering almost everything that you need to know about maintenance calories I think okay so let's get to uh, okay so everything that I am going to talk about uh, in this video is going to be valid for female and males both the main difference with females and males is just that females have a lower BMR but uh, you can take your BMR if you're a female and either if, uh, if you're a female or a male okay so uh, first of all uh, let's say I am a sedentary guy I primarily am a sedentary guy I don't move much around the day so let's say I sit on a sofa watch TV or I work on a computer all day long and I just uh, go to go get a glass of water I drink it, keep it uh, on the table I then go to get my lunch I then again sit on the sofa I eat uh, my lunch kind of a person well, the person who is primarily sedentary who is not doing much uh, but uh, who is also not lying down on the bed without moving for the whole day so lying down on the bed without moving for the whole day will uh, burn the calories equal to your BMR but if you are uh, moving a bit uh, uh, even a little bit then the uh, calories that you are burning every day would be calculated by BMR into 1.2 because you are not just lying down on the bed uh, so this is going to give you the calories which includes your B, uh, calories burned through BMR and the calories burned through your physical activity and we are going to talk about digestion in the end so forget about digestion so it is going to give you the calories for BMR and physical activity uh, both included added now <coughs> if you're a guy uh, or a girl um, doing housework uh, and uh, uh, who's just not as sedentary as the first guy but uh, is not uh, doing any significant uh, sort of exercise or uh, is just moving around maybe uh, taking up a walk three or four days uh, three to four days a week uh, like for half an hour or 45 minutes or so uh, that kind of a person maybe playing golf uh, maybe uh, playing um, some uh, mostly uh, stationary kind of a game so a person who is not as sedentary as the guy who is mostly sitting on the sofa uh, but is not uh, as active as a guy who is actually uh, doing some work to exercise or work out so that kind of person who is doing household work regularly uh, who is uh, uh, trying to uh, like get uh, some work done by the body but not specifically through uh, any sports or exercise that kind of person can um, multiply his BMR, his or her BMR uh, with 1.375 uh, 
that will give him in the uh, calories that he's burning across the day. Forget about digestion for now. Now, uh, let's take a guy who is, uh, let's say, willingly working out uh, for, let's say, three to five days a week. He he does not want to be like um, so aggressive that he wants to build a, a really nice body or but he wants to be fit enough he wants to uh, see good changes in the body uh, he wants to do uh, take his body to a better level uh, he is working out like uh, three to five days a week half an hour to one hour uh, workout per session moderate intensity session not low intensity or not, uh, not high intensity it is moderate intensity sessions uh, easy sessions uh, of workout or sports and just to make sure that uh, he stays fit or even if he wants to build body uh, I mean again uh, like he has some goal of fat loss or uh, muscle gain he works out with moderate intensity now what moderate intensity means uh, in terms of maximum heart rate is something like uh, so let's say uh, so maximum heart rate is the number of times your heart beats uh, the number of times your heart can beat actually without uh, uh, leading to heart failure. So when you increase the intensity of your uh, exercise, your heart starts to beat faster because uh, your body needs more oxygen supply, your uh, body needs more nutrition supply, so uh, it pumps blood more number of times to your body than the normal uh, number. So. Um, so let's say if your heart can beat 100 times in one minute and that is its maximum so uh, it will fail on 101 let's say so uh, if it is uh, beating at uh, 60 to 70 percent of maximum heart rate then it is called moderate uh, exciting so if you take the intensity higher then it will start beating faster per minute and if you take the intensity lower then it will be go towards the normal beating range. So the normal beating range is 72 uh, beats per minute. Uh, but for this example, I am just taking um, 100 as the maximum heart rate, which is not the case. People, uh, the heart beats for even more than 150 beats per minute. So, <coughs> excuse me. So. Um, so a person working on moderate intensity for 3 to 5 days a week, half an hour to one hour, working out or playing some decent sports with moderate intensity can multiply their BMR with 1.55. Now, we are talking about a person like me who works out 6 days a week, a person working out 6 to 7 days a week with moderate to high intensity, um, each workout session lasting for 45 to 60 minutes or maybe 75 minutes. Uh, about an hour or um, uh, a little bit more but the intensity is quite towards the higher end so the heart uh, beats at uh, about 70 to 85 percent of the maximum heart rate uh, so, so that kind of person is someone like who's trying to push uh, in the gym who's trying to gain muscle or maybe that guy is trying to lose fat but he is trying to lift decent enough weights in the gym and he's not uh, like taking rest periods of five to seven minutes between sets he's tr so looking at that guy in the gym you would say okay he's serious for bodybuilding he's not here just to pass the time so basically that kind of guy uh, who's doing decent enough sets so, so basically at the end of the workout you're like okay i had put in my um, decent effort i was the session was intense enough kind of a person um, I take myself as an example so uh, so that kind of person uh, would multiply his BMR his or her BMR 1.725 uh, that will give that person the calories uh, he or she is per, mm -hmm. per day okay now uh, a person who is really doing very intense exercises for long periods of time or intense sports for long periods of time for example, I am doing weight training for um, 1.5 hours or more, 90 minutes or more and uh, 
maybe i am a laborer i lift uh, i do labor work uh, maybe i'm lifting bricks and uh, taking in from one point to another point across the day and uh, i'm doing that for a lot of my many hours a day so that is quite intense because you're lifting some weight and you're moving it and you're doing that for many hours um or maybe uh, you can talk about athletes uh, who practice almost every day and they are very active for their practice sessions quite intense in their practice sessions and then long duration runners who run for like 20 km 32 km and they like maybe like running or maybe it's their professional work ever uh, but the people who are really intense in the um, sports or activities physical activities that they do and they do it for 6 to 7 days uh, per week uh, those kind of person uh, people can multiply the bmr by the 1.9 and they get the amount uh, uh, nearly the amount of calories that they burn every day okay so uh, uh, on all these um, uh, uh, i mean on all these uh, factors there is just an addition of point 175 so if you add point 175 to this you get this just it is just to uh, tell you that this is the way you can remember the numbers if you add 0.175 uh, to you start adding 0.175 to 1.2 and you get every subsequent number okay so all of this is going to give you an estimate uh, this is not going to give you exact number of how many calories your body burns <coughs> excuse me uh, because uh, uh it is very hard to know exactly the number of calories that your body burns uh, you uh, so basically uh, you might not be able to um, i'm not sure if there is any valid test for it in any laboratory but if there is one it is not easy or feasible for a common man to get that test in, in the laboratory so uh, and this video is for a common man so uh, Uh, we are going to work on this estimate uh, I, i think almost everyone works on the estimate itself and it works fine and even if we train clients we train clients on the estimates so we get an estimate of the um, maintenance calories okay so now taking an example let's say there is a guy who has a bmr of around 1500 and he works out um, just like me 6 days a week uh, and workout sessions 60 minutes to 75 minutes <coughs> now this guy falls in this category because his intensity is decent enough uh, is like going towards the high uh, intensity end uh, i am considering myself as an example so i put myself in this category if i am working out Six days a week. Um, so uh, BMR cross one point seven two five fifteen hundred cross one point seven two five gives you two five eight eight kilocalories burned. Now this will account for the calories burned, including BMR and the physical activity. It is the sum of the calories burned through the BMR, you at rest, and uh, the calories burned during physical activity, your body. so this gives us the calories now mm, talking about digestion if you uh, if you eat uh, this many calories to five hundred calories uh, um, then uh, you should be maintaining weight but uh, your body takes about ten percent calories to digest the food so we will be taking ten percent of this which is two fifty nine approximately and then we add it to two five hundred which comes out to be two eight four seven kilo calories approximately to uh, 2850 calories now uh, uh, so these factors 1.2 1.3 0.5 uh, up to 1.9 these factors are actually uh, made by some researchers or scientists so uh, these factors are big enough to take the digestion factor into account so what i mean by that is that after getting this number 2588 you do not need to be adding 10% of the calories burnt in digestion because these factors were made uh, 
taking into account those calories which are, are going to be burned uh, in digestion so this number um, basically uh, multiplying bmr by that factor according to your activity level will give you the total approximately give you the total calories that you burn including your bmr physical activity and the digestion so for in my case uh, so let's say i approximately take 2582 as 2600 so in my case and this uh, is approximately 2850 in my case if i take 2850 calories as my maintenance then it turns out to be a bit more than uh, what it is uh, so always always prefer to take the maintenance calories as uh, this so basically just bmr into 1172 like even if it uh, comes out to be 50 or 100 calories lesser than I'm actually burning. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, I'm not a good video editor and I don't like editing so I'm not going to cut uh, these parts. <laughs> so, so uh, okay. So, basically, uh, you can, to, to get the total calories burned in the day, just multiply your BMR with the, your activity level factor and get the result. You don't need to separately add digestion factor because it's already in, uh, included in those factors. The, the people who made these factors uh, took that digestion factor already into account. Um, now, we got an estimate of about 2600 calories uh, burning each day. Now, uh, this was just an estimate. Uh, the actual number might be 2450, 2500, 2700, 2750. It does not vary by like 300, 400 most of the times, but it varies by 100 or 150 or maybe 200 uh, uh, many times. So, so how do we know uh, the more uh, accurate number? We cannot uh, reduce the exact number, um, but uh, we can be a little bit more accurate than this. So, uh, let's say my maintenance estimate came out to be 2600 kilocalories, uh, and let's say I started eating 800, 1800 calories. Uh, I can measure the amount of calories of food uh, quite precisely. Uh, it comes on the labels of the packaging of the food. Uh, if there is no label or on the packaging, um, then you can find uh, an estimate on the internet, and there approximate they are close enough okay, so let's say I know that I'm eating 1800 calories and uh, my maintenance is about 2600 uh, so I have created a calorie deficit of 800 calories I have talked about calorie deficit in my previous video so if I create uh, and I know that 800 kilocalories will give me a weight loss of 100 grams on the body weight so I've talked about this in my previous video again uh, so if you do not understand anything in my current video, watch my previous videos. Um, okay, so 800 calories, um, if uh, you eat 800 calories, lesser than the calories you are burning in a day, you are going to lose 100 grams of body weight. And if you are burning, if you are eating 800 more than the calories you are burning in a day, you are going to gain 100 grams of weight. I've talked about this in the previous videos. So, um, so if I am going to eat 1800 calories and uh, it creates a calorie deficit of 800 calories making me lose 100 grams a day if i do that for 7 to 10 days i should be losing about 700 to 1000 grams a day okay now let's say i did that for 10 days and i lost 1.5 kilograms not 1 kilogram 1.5 kilogram now <coughs> excuse me so now i know that uh, I lost uh, not 100 grams per day, I lost 150 grams per day. So basically 150 grams per day is equal to 1200 kilocalories deficit. Mm, okay, so now I know that I created a deficit of 1200 calories. Um, okay, I know that. So, and I know that I'm eating almost 1800 calories, there is not so much doubt about it. That means that my maintenance was not 2600, it was 1800 plus 1200, 3000. So my maintenance was at 3000 calories.
So now I know that that estimate was a little bit deviated from the actual number and now I know the actual number. But most of the times the actual number does not deviate by like 300 or 400 calories. It usually stays within the limits of 200 or so, um, maybe 100, 150 kind of thing. So uh, basically this is the method you can use to know, to get more closer to the actual number. Um, so basically you will have to eat the same uh, amount of food uh, for some days to figure out how much weight you lose or gain uh, depending on the amount of food you're eating and then you'll get to know a more closer number to your maintenance calories. <coughs> so one thing to note, uh, take a note about is uh, uh, that let's say uh, if you go to weight reduction of 1.5 kg in 10 days, uh, try to keep. So basically, in the first week, you lose a, uh, lose more weight uh, than usual because uh, you lose a lot of water weight also. So the frame of the 7 to 10 days should be kept after the first week. So basically, uh, when you start uh, eating lesser than normal, um, then you. Uh, Initially, uh, in the first week, you'll lose a little bit more weight. Uh, uh, so, because you lose the water weight, so so let that week go, and then then see uh, which weight you are at, and then take a frame of seven to ten days, or maybe even more if you need it, and see if you're uh, losing as per hundred grams per day, or maybe according to the uh, calorie deficit that you have created. So, so basically what I wanted to say is uh, don't uh, s uh, jump uh, looking at the result of the first week. Uh, so uh, may maybe you created a deficit of 100 grams uh, or 800 calories equal to 100 grams. Um, and, but in the first week you lost let's say 1200, uh, 1200 grams, 1.2 kgs. Uh, maybe you lost that much and you might think that okay I have created a deficit bigger than 800 calories but that might not be the case because you might have lost water weight in that um, first week. So start um, uh, measuring from the second week onwards. So basically it will, on a whole it will take you the first week and then 7 to 10 days or maybe more so it will take you about 14 to 17 days uh, approximately. So this was a number. Uh, that you got uh, for your maintenance calories Dep uh, given the fact that you have a same routine that you follow every day and you work out or uh, play some sports for one, one but five hours or half an hour or two hours maybe or even more um, so you have a set routine on which you can calculate your maintenance if you're working out twice a day or uh, playing sports uh, high intensity sports twice a day then maybe you directly want to multiply by 1.9, you'll be 1.9 and get the result and uh, uh, measure the amount uh, of calories that you're eating on a regular basis and see if you're gaining weight or losing weight and how much amount of it and then get to know that uh, your maintenance is close to it. But most of the people, they work out or play sports once a day for like 1 hour, 1.5 hours, 2 hours, uh, maybe half an hour. So it fits for most of the people and so you depending on your that kind of activity level you uh, take uh, the appropriate uh, multiplying factor and you get your maintenance calories. Now apart from that if you are doing some sort of um, other um, activity for example people watching this video are mostly going to gym and working out for either fat loss or muscle gain. So uh, you ca uh, you calculated you took a factor of just like I took a factor of one point seven two five um, for myself because I work out six days a week uh, for like uh, seventy five minutes uh, per session workout session and I work out once in a day so I took uh, this factor and I got uh, approximately around twenty six hundred so uh, let's say I like running and I run for thirty minutes in the morning or I walk for um, one hour or two hours in the morning. Now those calories burned, uh, those calories burned are not added in this number. You have to add those calories on this number. So um, 
Uh, for example, if I am running for half an hour um, in the morning and then working out uh, uh, in the gym in the evening, so I'll add the calories of that cardio that I'm doing in the morning. Uh, for like, let's say, running for half an hour, the a casual run, uh, jogging kind of a run, would burn about 250 or so, 200 calories uh, in half an hour maybe. So I'll add those amount of calories. Let's say I'm walking for. Um, an hour now I, so a person uh, if a person walks for an hour with my weight then he would be burning about 175 to 225 calories in one hour so I'll take an approximation of 200 calories and I'll add 200 calories to my maintenance if I'm walking on a regular basis if I'm walking for a day and I'll add 200 calories for the day so now I can eat 200 more calories because I've burned them already or maybe I don't eat those 200 calories and I create a bigger deficit in case I want to lose weight quicker so basically you need to be adding uh, calories that you're burning in some uh, other significant activity uh, to this not necessarily for the housework because it all is included in this but if you're doing some significant other activity then you add it to the maintenance calories that you got from this factor okay so i think i have covered everything and as i told you that i wrote this uh, to just to tell you that you cannot get exact number um, sitting at home and I'm not sure if you can get it in, even in the laboratory if you're working out and doing some work. Um, but, so basically don't worry about it, you can calculate it using the method I talked about in this video. Um, so this video is long enough but I think it pretty much explains uh, how to calculate maintenance calories in quite some detail. I don't think I ever found uh, so much detailed video on the internet about maintenance how to calculate maintenance calories but anyways if you like this video and if you want people to know about this share this video and uh, press the like button if you like the channel subscribe if you want to receive notifications about my future videos turn the notifications on and i will be seeing you in the next video bye bye